The iPhone 11 Pro cameras are some of the best out there at the moment in the mobile world. They're versatile, powerful, and can now pretty much see in the dark. So I think it's time we continued this little series of throwing the best the mobile world has to offer against the Canon AE-1 program and a roll of film. As ever, let's just address a few things before we get started. I'm using a roll of Portra 400 in the Canon, and this is the main factor producing the colors, texture, and feel from that camera. Obviously, the lenses and body will have their characteristics, but it's the film doing most of the heavy lifting. On another note, I have two lenses for the Canon now, a 50mm and a 28mm, so I can match the focal length of the iPhone a lot better than before. I've had the film developed and scanned to the highest level I can get, with the resulting JPEGs coming in at 18 megabytes apiece. And as I always say, I'm not trying to suggest in this video that one is better than the other. They're both different in so many ways, it's almost impossible to really compare them. This is just a show of difference. And if it makes you think about picking up a film camera for the first time or to go back to one, then my job is done. I'm not going to speak over these images either. I'll let you make up your own mind about which you prefer, but I will voice my opinion at the end, so stick around for that. Otherwise, sit back, relax, and let me know which you prefer in the comments below.
It's really easy for me to sit here and say that I prefer the film photos, so I will. I prefer the film photos, and every time I make one of these videos, that thought is just more and more cemented in my mind. If you watch my channel for a long time, you'll know that I prefer the pastel look to the colours. So when the Canon throws out photos that are that way more inclined, which these are, then I'm always going to prefer them. The Canon also has a much better depth of field within its photos, and in my eyes, the skin tones are a lot nicer. That's not to say I dislike the iPhone photos, they're great, and in lots of ways exceed what the Canon is doing. Dynamic range is unquestionably better, they're a lot more contrasty within the shots, and of course being able to take, edit and upload within seconds is amazing. When you compare it to having to pay for a roll of film and then take all the shots and then send it off to be developed and wait for it to come back, it's almost a no-brainer. Obviously, you can edit the iPhone photos to make it look like they're shot on film, however, shooting with an older camera like this really makes you appreciate the format and art of photography. And when you're limited on the amount of shots you can take, you really do start thinking about it a lot more. Sometimes it's nice to be limited like that. Also, there's something wonderfully mechanical about shooting on an old film SLR that you just don't get with a phone. So that rounds up this video. If you've got any suggestions for this series, then please do leave them in a comment below. Or if you just want to see a review of the Canon AE-1 program, then let me know too. It's something that I'd like to do, but I'm just not sure if people want to see that. Anyway, give it a thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it, and I'll see you all in the next one.